Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Uh, last time we sort of finished the first world. As you can see, we're still missing some stuff, but I don't think we can get it yet. Um, we may be able to get the last little bit of treasure? I'm not sure. Actually, I think we did get the last bit of treasure and I didn't save. That's weird. <laughs> Um, I guess it doesn't auto-save until you go to a fairy or something? Yeah, there's a couple more gems here we can grab. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, that's full of full of all the treasure. Okay, uh, so that's weird that I had to redo that. Um, but yeah, so even though we've done that, we still- I think we can't finish Molten Crater because we need to have found one of Spyro's friends to get into one of those friend sub-areas. And I think that's where the rest of the treasure is. Uh, no, no, stay where we are. Uh, we also can't get into, hello, no, I, I just want to save, just, I just want to save, do you, oh, you don't save? Oh, that's just rude. All right. We also can't get into this. We need to find a special task for Sparks meet me back here later. So I assume we have to go to world two and then come back for that to activate or something. I'm just guessing. Um, but world one is theoretically complete. Um, there's a speedway up there. I'm probably just not going to bother with it because I hate the speedways. <laughs> but we should be able to go to World 2 now because we have all the friends here. Hello. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't, I didn't actually press any buttons. It just automatically happened. Uh, Midday Gardens? I guess that's what World 2 is called. Let's go to Midday Gardens, y'all. Entering Buzz's dungeon. Oh, okay. So we do have to fight a boss before we go there. Yeah, I figured we probably would, but it kind of framed it like we wouldn't have to. Uh, because of going straight to the next world, like in the first game. In the first game, all the bosses are optional. Um, but in the second game, they're mandatory. And it looks like they're mandatory here too. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I tried to scare him off, your highness. He's just not afraid of anything. Oh, is Bianca gonna gonna become good because the sorceress is horrible to her? Oh, I want her to be my friend. I love her. Oh, she's a sweetie. Oh, I love her. Oh yeah, that looks like a boss I can fight. The devil? <laughs> Still got little bunny ears. Oh, that fixed it. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we have to fight that first. It's not really explained why we have to fight that first, because if you think about it, the balloon should just be able to go somewhere other than here, right? Hmm. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Are we working together? Okay. Uh, how do we fight this guy? Ah! Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. He doesn't do damage when he hits you, but falling in the lava does damage you. I think I need to push him into the lava, maybe? Okay, so we're fighting a bully, basically. Am I supposed to be able to switch characters or something to play as Sheila as well, or is she just not actually doing anything? Yeah, we're fighting a bully. <laughs> oh, and then she bops him on the head for a tiny bit of damage. Okay, I see how this is. 
You want to aim for that target over there? Okay, then we want to run, 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 run until he runs out of puff. Oh, okay, he has flames now. Why aren't dragons fireproof? It's just very silly. It's a lot slower with this flame that you have to wait for. It's quite annoying. Oh, come on. Okay, it looks like the target doesn't really do anything, because I hit him towards it, but he didn't really go far enough. Ow. <sighs> Kayla, do you want to, like, be helpful? <laughs> You're not very helpful, girl. <laughs> oh, sheep. Okay, so it's like a bully, but it takes way longer and it's more annoying, basically. Oh, really? Sparks only went up to blue instead of gold after eating that uh, life, life butterfly for some reason. Oh, okay, you can do that now. Oh, um... I guess there's no invulnerability time. Rig. The way your aiming works in conjunction with the boss camera for charging is just really, really, really like um janky. It it does not work well. It is bad. Seriously? I don't really think Sheila's contributing much. <laughs> and you can run into her, like I did, I did earlier. She can get in the way. Um, which is very confusing design. <laughs> okay, now he's gonna do the little flame wheel when he moves, which is super annoying. Ah, oh, it's too fast. I thought it had already cleared, but it had not. Because I got stuck underneath him there. I guess because this surface isn't actually flat, so some weird stuff can happen. I probably should have just made the arena flat, and just make it look like it's not flat, just to make it a bit more interesting. Okay, so now he's going to shoot out fireballs as well. No, now he's going to charge. Alright. Not what I expected, but I guess go off. Maybe he'll do that after the next time I defeat him. I'm not sure. Next time I knock him into the lava, I mean. There we go. Okay. Takes a hit. Starts rolling. Why is it not dropping any sheep? It was dropping a sheep each time I hit him before, but that's not happening now. 
Okay, so now when that clears, he's gonna start, yes, yeah, squ squeaking fireballs at me. Okay, so three times. Okay. Which is enough to defeat you, because you have uh, blue, and then green, and then no more health. Hmm. <laughs> You know, dodging to the side with the roll would be more sensible. Oh, he needs to be hit again? Okay. Again, I don't think Sheila's really contributing much. Okay, he's clearly standing on nothing. How- <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, gosh. Grayson? Oh, they're gay. Good for them. Uh, I guess we're automatically leaving. All right. Entering Midday Gardens world. I kind of thought there'd be a cutscene afterwards, like, you know, with Bianca having lost and everything, but maybe it'll come up after the loading screen. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting the impression Bianca's gonna betray the sorceress. Real, real fizzle pop berry twist vibes there. Good shit. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Yeah, it's probably a cutscene now. No? Um, nope, we're, we're centering world two. Alright, welcome to Midday Gardens. Uh, let's get some health. These aren't health, these are gems, but let's get them anyway. Uh, there's some paintings. There's a panda. There's, uh, like, a lizard or something. Okay, dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. Cat friend? For your own good, you know. Do you mean Sheila? She's a kangaroo. <laughs> or is it someone else I've forgotten about? Cat friend. Well, let's start grabbing gems. Again, underwater would be better if there were a way to breathe fire or something like fire. Uh, I can see an egg here, but I can't get it. Hmm. Maybe I need a new ability or something? I don't know. Oh, there we go. I said to come around the other side. Hey, Dave. Good thing dragons aren't, like, weak to water like they are in the first game. Because that would be a problem. Hey, bunnies. Okay, we got reg regular sparks back. <sighs> Icy peak? Okay, well, we'll head there shortly, but for the moment let's just keep looking around the overworld a little bit. Uh, walking on ice is pretty annoying. You cannot jump or charge. You just sort of got to skate real slowly. Hello, Mingus. What kind of name is Mingus? Oh yeah, that's a Mingus. I get it. <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, Icy Peak is in there, we'll have to visit that at some point, but for the moment, let's keep exploring the home. There's some bunnies. Hello, bunnies. Are they cute? Not really. They're kinda angry. 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think it's the eyebrows. Oh no, oh no, more racial stereotypes. Oh, god damn it. Why do they keep doing this? I don't understand why they made this worse in the remake than it was in the original PS1 titles. Like, they could have made it different, they could have made it better, and they made it worse. <sighs> hey, Trixie. Hmm, she doesn't make sense to me. Uh... Need, like, a rocket or something to break that. Maybe, like, a super flame? I, I don't know. I'll look around and see what's available. Oh, is Hunter my cat friend? I forgot about that guy. <laughs> He's not a very memorable character. <laughs> ah, my good friend Spyro. Hey, capitalism man. Naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody. Provided you pay his outstanding fines. Yeah, sure. Ah, what a sucker! Uh, but that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, uh, than you have ever done. And, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. Okay, so... Sergeant Burr, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Um, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Ooh, uh, because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. For this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? Hell yeah. I thought dragons Fuck capitalism. <laughs> Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! Huh. Well, I guess we made a new friend. I think that guy, that guy, that guy is who we need back in the first world when we backtrack. Um... I won't do that just yet, I might do that next video. For the moment, I'm just gonna wander around here a bit. Uh, keep grabbing gems. Since we just gave up a whole bunch to money bags. I'm gonna wanna grab some more. I assume at the end of the game, money bags will give all our gems back like he did in the second game, so that we can get the full total. Uh. I mean, be coerced into giving them back, like, he would never do that out of the goodness of his own heart, because he's a horrible capitalist person. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what happened in game two, so I assume it'll happen here as well. Oh, can I not get up there? It looks like I should be able to. Hmm. No, I can't. Huh. I guess that's supposed to be a higher wall than it looks like. <laughs> Bamboo Terrace. I don't really want to go into a level for fear of the whole, you know, one rule level thing where the where the, the video ends up really long. Um, since the boss already took a decent amount of effort. Not so much as some of the bosses I could mention, but a decent amount. Uh, 36? Oh, that'll be a level once I get that number of dragon eggs, right? Uh, a special task for Sparks later. I wonder if that unlocks when you finish the world, or... When you, like, finish all the worlds, if it's like a post-game thing. She just says later, which could mean anything. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, we're close. Modesty. Uh, 
Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so there's a super flame platform up, a super flame power up up there. Uh, that probably will come in handy. Uh, we can use that to break open that one chest that I couldn't get to earlier. Hello. Hi, yep. This is a super flame power up. You'll find more just like it scattered throughout all the world. Why don't you try this one out by using it to break all these planters? I think I saw a Rhinoch hiding. Oh, okay. They did look suspicious, like I might be able to break them, so I guess I can break them. The super flame, it's a projectile, so just you shoot flames everywhere. Not really sure what the range on this is supposed to be. Uh, planters, planters. There's one. Oh, I found Matt. Oh, show off. That was cute. Okay, uh, that's all the eggs here. Uh, we're still shy a little bit of treasure, but we haven't opened that one... Uh, whatchamacallit. There's like a chest down here that we can open using Super Flame. It's here somewhere anyway. There it is. Oh, close, but not quiet. Hmm, did I not go over here? Hmm. Ah, oh, because we're avoiding Hunter because he's annoying. Spyro, Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spinning this rock at it? Okay. Can I go through? No. Okay, I have to open the portal. All right. And you picked up a rock. Yeah, I am trying to use the X button to aim. You just got in the way, nerd. I don't like Hunter. <laughs> Enchanted. Hours. Alright. Uh, we're still two gems short. There must be just like a green hiding somewhere. This direction, apparently. Is it just around the corner? Yes. Okay. So that's this homeworld finished. Uh, which is a good start, I think. It looks like you don't learn moves in this game because, you know, we've done everything and we still haven't got any new moves. Um. Uh, so... Instead, it looks like you make friends, because we got Sheila in the first world, we just got Sergeant Bird. Um, we'll have to play through his level in his base, I think, to unlock him in other areas, so we'll do that next video. Uh, and then we'll back- and then once that's done, we will backtrack and try to take him back to World 1 and see if we can finish it off. Um, yeah. So, that's about it for this video. That's just a bit of a short intro, I guess, to Midday Gardens World. Are there only three worlds in this game as well? We had Sunrise and Midday. Like, we could have, I don't know, Dusk and then Midnight, maybe? I don't know, I'm... I'm just guessing. Uh, and there's Buzz's Dungeon, okay. Okay, um, anyway, that's the, it for this video, anyway, yeah. So next time we're gonna head into Sergeant Bird's base, it's probably gonna be kind of annoying. Um, I don't think the other characters' controls are quite as polished as Spyro's. Uh, you may remember me being frustrated with the Sheila portions in the first world. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Uh, and once we've done that, we're going to backtrack to world one and see if we can finish it off using the extra stuff from Sergeant Bird, and then we'll proceed with world two. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>